There are three major types of submarines in the United States Navy, ballistic missile submarines, attack submarines, and cruise missile submarines. Today, we are discussed only ballistic missile submarines. Ballistic missile submarines have a single strategic mission of carrying nuclear submarine launched ballistic missiles. The world's first operational nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine, SSBN, was USS George Washington with 16 Polaris A 1 missiles, which entered service in December 1959 and conducted the first SSBN deterrent patrol November 1960 to January 1961. SSBNs generally resemble attack subs of the same generation, with extra length to accommodate SLBMs, such as the Russian R-29, SSN-23, or the NATO-fielded and American-manufactured Polaris, Poseidon, and Trident II missiles. The Polaris missile and the first USS SBNs were developed by a special project office under Rear Admiral W. F. Red Rabin, appointed by Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Ali Burke. George Washington was redesigned and rebuilt early in construction from a Skipjack class fast attack submarine, USS Scorpion, with a 130 feet missile compartment welded into the middle. Ballistic missile submarines differ in purpose from attack submarines and cruise missile submarines, the primary mission of the ballistic missile is nuclear deterrence. They serve as the third leg of the nuclear triad in countries that also operate nuclear armed land-based missiles and aircraft. Accordingly, the mission profile of a ballistic missile submarine concentrates on remaining undetected, rather than aggressively pursuing other vessels. Ballistic missile submarines are designed for stealth to avoid detection at all costs, and that makes nuclear power, allowing almost the entire patrol to be conducted submerged, very important. They also use many sound reducing design features, such as anechoic tiles on their hull surfaces, carefully designed propulsion systems, and machinery mounted on vibration damping mounts. The invisibility and mobility of SSBNs offer a reliable means of deterrence against an attack, by maintaining the threat of a second strike, as well as a potential surprise first strike capability. Submarines may carry nuclear fuel for up to 30 years of operation. The only resource that limits the time underwater is the food supply for the crew and maintenance of the vessel. The 14 SSBNs together carry about half of US active strategic thermonuclear warheads. A thermonuclear weapon, fusion weapon or hydrogen bomb is a second generation nuclear weapon design. Its greater sophistication affords it vastly greater destructive power than first generation atomic bombs, a more compact size, a lower mass or a combination of these benefits. The Columbia-class submarine, formerly known as the Ohio Replacement Submarine and SSBNX Future Follow-on Submarine, is an upcoming class of nuclear submarines designed to replace the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines in the United States Navy. The first submarine officially began construction on October 1, 2020, and is scheduled to enter service in 2031. 
The Columbia class is being designed to replace the UGM-133 Trident II, armed Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, whose remaining boats will be decommissioned, one per year, beginning in 2027. The Columbia class will take over the role of submarine presence in the United States Strategic Nuclear Force. The SSBN provides the nation's most survivable and enduring nuclear strike capability. Hope you guys loved the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to all. So you can get the notification on each upload.